The Great British Bake Off has long been known for amazing cakes, complicated recipes and blush-inducing sexual innuendos. And Tuesday's episode of the rebooted cookery program could be the show's naughtiest yet and the contestants battled through the bread round. Paul Hollywood had fans rejoicing as he led the double entendre as he showed hopeful winners his finger technique to infuse two rolls of bread. Cheeky viewers flocked to Twitter to poke fun at the terminology before becoming further amused when contestant Julia's snail-shaped bread sculpture turned out to be rather phallic. After a teaser challenge of making tea cakes, the contestants were tasked with forming a cottage loaf. And in their quest for perfection, eager contestants took initiative as they utilized two of their fingers to make the perfect shape. Given the action involved, amused viewers shared their glee over the innuendos as they flocked to Twitter. One wrote, you need to finger right in the middle to make sure top stays on bottom Paul Hollywood number GBBO. With contestants giving it their all with the fingering technique, fans of the show were clearly entertained as they continued to tweet out their hilarious reactions. The best innuendo this week. It didn't get the finger treatment number GBBO. Dying to know what proof thinks the finger treatment is number GBBO. Did Paul honestly just offer to oil his finger number GBBO? I thought I had seen it all, but now finger banging dough. New meaning to food porn. Cannot handle the amount of finger innuendos in bread week number GBBO. Another added, words of wisdom from Pruleith on number GBBO, when putting the bread in the oven, don't forget the finger treatment, while another quipped, this didn't get the finger treatment at all, behave Pru number GBBO. Social media talk then turned to Julia's snail, which she had formed from bread, which happened to resemble something different entirely. Occurring during the final task, where contestants had to form an impressive bread sculpture, with three natural coloring, everyone did their best to form things such as a hat, bag and flower basket. However, it was Julia's innocent intentions of making a snail under a mushroom that left everyone in hysterics, including Paul himself. Unable to contain his laughter, the silver-haired fox took a few seconds to regain his composure, while Prue awkwardly blushed next to him. While his co-host didn't seem to deem the creation too hilarious, Paul's amusement was shared by viewers that moment, when you can't hold in the laughter, after seeing that oddly shaped bread snail on Big Off number GBBO. The phallic snail on number GBBO and Paul Blue Eyes Hollywood in hysterics equals priceless TV gold. If Paul can laugh at a phallic-esque bread snail, how can I ever hope to have a mature sense of humor number GBBO? Another one joked. Snail penis wins star Baker, and I'm not surprised it made Prue blush number GBBO number CHANNEL4.
when your bread snail looks like something else entirely, number GBBO. I've never seen a snail look like that number GBBO. Once the comedy subsided, Paul and Prue went on to taste the phallic shaped bread concoction and were left impressed. Other than the shape of the snail, the two enjoyed the taste and texture and Julia was awarded Star Baker, knocking Stephen off his high horse. While celebrations were being made, it was soon time for hosts Noel Fielding and Sandy Toxvig to announce the weakest baker and who would be he.